Hi, Kate Meredith here, coming to you from my driveway here in rainy Wisconsin to give you my pearls of wisdom about using a vehicle to blow up a balloon. Now, in the Global Systems Science Investigation 5, we want to collect carbon dioxide from three different sources, and one of those is a car. And this one presents a few challenges. The first one is when you make your funnel, which you can use to direct the exhaust into the balloon, don't use anything too flimsy. I like using a file folder, which I just roll into a tube and then give it a little twist. Use your favorite shade of duct tape and make sure it's nice and secure. I like the opening to be about oh, a centimeter to um, a centimeter and a half in diameter. That gives you just enough room to get your balloon on and off easily, but it makes a nice secure seal. Also, this funnel has now been used about 10 or 12 times and it's getting, the end is getting a little flimsy. You want to be careful of that too, that might cause you some problems. I have a couple extra of these on hand. The other thing that I noticed the first time that I tried this is that I had bought, purchased some really good balloons because I wanted all elasticity to be the same. Being concerned about Boyle's Law and Charles Law, I wanted them to, all the gas to be under the same pressure. So I had nice, good quality balloon and I put it on the end and got it hooked up to my car and nothing happened except that my car idled down to nearly nothing, which I'm told by my neighborhood mechanic is not a good thing for old mufflers. So uh, I stopped the car and thought about this a little bit and decided that I'd have to weaken these balloons a little bit. So I experimented and I did, I took about three times um, blowing the balloon up to the max capacity and, that, and letting it um, empty out so that the car would have enough pressure to easily blow up the balloon without idling the car down to next. Okay, we've got our vehicle running and we have our funnel and our balloon. And, but being the good scientist that I am, I took a look and I thought, well, there's a lot of stuff in this funnel, a lot of air that's not exhaust. And I only want car exhaust in my balloon. So after doing some thinking, I decided the best that I can do is just hold the funnel up to the car, um, the tailpipe of the car, and let it sit there for a second. and force some of the air out. When I'm ready, I just put the balloon up nice and tight and we get our balloon blown up to the size we want and we release. And that's all there is to it. Now another recommendation in case you're working in a cold climate is that if you come and try and do this on a cold day, let your car warm up a little bit before you start because I have a lot of um, condensation coming out of my tailpipe and I'm not sure what that's going to do to my sample. So just watch out for your weather conditions, watch out for any hazards in your parking lot and have a good time.